I can, yes. just, I can just imagine Pavel inside. He's like, whoa, 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 <laughs> yo, whoa. <laughs> Gentlemen, aboard this here vessel, we need to give ourselves the biggest advantage possible. Our onboard weapons are some of the finest that exist in the world. Mainly the cruise missiles, because, uh, well, they're not only effective, but uh, they're also hella fun to use. However, the cruise missiles do have their limitations, in the form of the maximum distance that they can reach. As they stand, they can reach pretty far, but attacks from one coast to another can be rather nail-biting to say the least. I do have a plan, however, but it won't be easy. What I suggest is we somehow move our Kasatka from the surrounding oceans to the Alamo Lake, which is called a sea for some reason, which doesn't really make sense, but whatever. If we can figure out a way to move the Kasatka here, then our attack potential could improve exponentially. But how will you do it, Captain? It seems like an impossible task. I'll go grab a few friends, uh, and then we'll regroup. You wait here. Wait a minute. You have friends? <coughs> oh, no. I should not have said that. Oh. And that's what I did. I planned on getting a Kasatka submarine into the Alamo Lake. Or sea, as the game calls it, but it's not a sea, it's a lake. Come on, it definitely classifies as a lake. Come on. Anyways, I got a small army of friends to help out, and we hitched some plans. There were three main things that we had to keep in mind when it came to planning the logistics of moving the second largest vehicle in the game, one that isn't designed to be moved around on land, over land. The first one being the obvious one, its sheer size. As you might expect, when you compare the Kasatka to the world around it, you really do get a sense of just how enormous this thing is. The second problem is damage. The Kasatka is one of the toughest vehicles in the game, but it's not invulnerable, and during any sort of logistics run, the vehicle is going to inevitably take quite substantial punishment from being pushed around, and the occasional explosion from things around it. We'll go a bit more in-depth on that aspect a bit later. The third problem is actually pushing the thing when it's unable to do so under its own steam. It might seem obvious to just simply take the rivers and use the power of the propellers to push it up the rivers to get into the lake, but I must remind you that this thing is massive, and if the water isn't deep enough, like in the rivers, the propellers won't do anything. However, water is still water, and the land vehicles that are going to have to push it through still have to tread in it, so anything that we choose to push the thing has to be able to do so in a wet environment. On that regard, I came up with a route. Beach the Kasatka on the north of Blaine County, push it up the freeway, then simply slide it through the pig fields back onto the main road, and then shove it into the water. I chose to do this route because of the rather short distance that the Kasatka would have to follow. The only downsides of taking it this route would obviously be the traffic, as well as the big railway bridge that we would have to cross. The Kasatka is way too large to fit it under, so we would have to push it up and over the thing. Thankfully, there is a ramp on the left side of the bridge that we could use to very easily push the Kasatka over. In theory. The police would also inevitably be a nuisance because, well, this is GTA 5 and the police in GTA 5 are police in GTA 5, so yeah. But as we found out, in the vehicles that we were using, we could on the most part just ignore the police. It's probably time to talk about the vehicles that we're going to use for transporting the Kasatka to its destination, or as I like to call, the, the tools, tools of, of logistics. logistics. The main vehicles that will provide the majority of the horsepower that we'll need to move the giant submarine around will be Avengers. Avengers are great at pushing large objects with ease, as we found. The only downside is they can't do it very accurately, and they also need to be respawned every so often because aircraft be all explodey and stuff. Avengers can be used to push in two ways. Using hover mode allows a decent level of accuracy pushing at slow speeds with only marginal danger of flipping the thing if you catch a rotor, or... We can do it the fun way, which involves putting it in fly mode, and you give it a good smack up the butt like with a high chance that you'll pretty much break the aircraft instantly and we'll need a new one. 
Land vehicles like the Dump, the Insurgent, the Chernobog, the numerous tanks like the Rhino or the Kanjali, and the APC can provide a good deal of horsepower at surface level, as well as have the advantage of being able to more accurately steer the thing as it makes its journey. With everything said, this is what happened. I need a good ramen. Yeah, you look good down here. Okay. okay. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. We've at least cleared yeah, the lift. Oh, oh, yeah, nice. you clear. Nice. Keep it going. Oh, nice. And I'm beats now. <laughs> oh, nice. Actually, not, not yet. I still have a bit more to go. <laughs> all over my screen. I'm, I'm pushing it onto the the uh, other road because that's the intended route. It's crashed into a tree. Right, now, now it's over there. Now it's over the divider. We can shove okay, it to the so other side. Which side does it need to be on? Left. Has everybody lost the cops? Right, left hand side then. So we've reached our first obstacle now, the bridge. Nice. We need to use the the hill to the left. There's like a natural ramp. We need to push it up that ramp to get it over the bridge. Right, if you guide the nose up onto it, right. then I can... If I can. Uh, no, no, I think I might be able to if I get the... Right, so uh, what's the situation? What, what's yeah, the, uh, it's going over. It's going over, but we need these NPC cars moving. It's stuck. Okay, could this also get this unstuck? No, 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 just get it unstuck. So she put okay. the battery up to stop it rolling back. No. Yeah, right. it's okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh my lord. Ollie's holding I the am. entire she... thing up. Oh my lord. I'll try and get up. There. It's, fu it's, actually, it's fine, it's fine. Keep hold of it, Ollie. I'll try and give it a push. No, 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 no. Okay, so the uh, truck no, can push it up here. Should be... Okay, yeah, yeah, just give it that. I'll go push it Weird on a chair. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, man! Be a ramming force. It's surfing on on a truck right now. Here. 
an NPC is holding the Kazanka. <laughs> it's moving. Oh, case. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's it's you're so off the account. It's stuck in between oh. a tree and this pole. We either need to lift it over or twist it clockwise. Nah, it's gonna pass. Yeah, it's power through, power through. Look, look at oh, this power it's through. It's through. Yeah. Full power. Yeah, no, no need to just turn. It's just power through everything. <laughs> We've tried all the vehicles. Why can't we just try a yacht? The yacht can push it, can't it? I can spawn a yacht hydro, but I don't think that's a good idea. No. I'll just blow up my dumpster. Uh, we've gone. now got smoke. Give me rocket. Oh no! 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 no. 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 It blew up. Shit. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, here we go again. This is the downside no. of this loop. Well. Done. We got pretty far, but it would seem that the traffic constantly exploding all the time, as well as the rather tricky things that we had to do to the Kasatka, meant that this route was kind of out of the question at this point. Next up, we tried coming in from the east coast. What we do is we beach the Kasatka on the sand near the lighthouse and then work our way up to the enormous railway bridge that lay before us. Again, the Kasatka would be much too big to fit underneath the thing, so we would have to figure out some way to get it up and over, then shove it along the fields and into the water. Simple enough. This route would be a lot more difficult due to the limited working space for vehicles near the sand, as well as the bridge being a pretty big challenge to say the least. But at least traffic wouldn't be a problem as there is about 10 times less going through this road than there is going along the freeway. This is what happened. Get it, boys. Get it. 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 Get Oh, yeah. oh my lord! Oh my god! You knocked it like a yeah. That was oh, you! I did it! <laughs> that was a good day! And that's oh, out the of the park! Flew. Oh, the plan! Jesus. Holy that, shit! That thing flew! Shots <laughs> plan! You know what? I'm gonna be actually so sad if, it, if the traffic explodes it. Then we gotta be quick. Here's the hard yeah. part. Nah, just get Avengers and continue just lobbing it up and mm -hmm. penetrating it. Or push someone it. could act as a traffic warden because we could push the Kasaka. Okay. <laughs> 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 Wait, what the hell? Someone got an LCD. I'm <laughs> gonna go get my trusty dumpster. Just come from up the here. hill and <laughs> start the fucking jumping in the air. Nice job, Adam. All right. If we, yeah, this is looking good. Oh, huh? Big oh. man. Your Kasaka has been destroyed. No! No! Yeah, as insane as it was to watch the Kasatka fly through the air like a bird, the sudden disappearance of it did confuse us a bit. Uh, the Kasatka never really took that much damage, so to see it suddenly disappear without so much as an explosion was a bit annoying to say the least. 
Nevertheless, we soldiered on. At this point, we had two options. Those were being the river going up the north of Fort Zancudo and the one just going south of it. We decided against going up the North River because of three main reasons. One, the valley in which the river occupies is very tight, so vehicles would have a hard time moving around and the Kosako would get stuck on every tree and whatnot. Two, the water levels and speed of the current down this river would be very fast, making pretty much anything that we would try and drive through it, it would be kind of hard to control and it would just be an absolute mess. Finally, number three, waterfalls. Yeah, this is a pretty big waterfall, and I don't really see that much we can do once we get it here to be able to lift it up and get it up there. So, yeah, it would seem pretty darn hard to go this route. So, needless to say, despite the route being much much longer than all the other conceived routes that we've chose so far, we chose to take it along the South River. That way, the only obstacles that we would have to worry about would be the numerous amount of bridges that we would have to, um... bridge. Including the very first one, which you might think the Kasaka would fit through just fine, but again, I must remind you, the Kasaka is massive! So we actually had to beach it here and then push it up and over the road that entered the bridge. From there on out, it was just one team, one Kasaka, and one goal. Here's what happened. I'm gonna scratch your paint feature. You know your native language, Shrek. No. God damn, that Kasaka's really moving now. Oh, there's a train. Oh no. Oh no. The train no, is gonna... taking. The train is taking the submarine. I am stopping it. The train. Oh, the trees. <gasps> oh. 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 <laughs> is it good? No. Oh, shit. There's still more obstacles. Whoa. <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> I'll try to, try to steer the Kosatka. 
Oh, oh. It's, it's sliding. Is it going to make the maiden voyage? Yeah. <laughs> get, get the supercar. Can you imagine it just spontaneously combusts for no reason? No, don't say that. <laughs> don't you even dare say that. I'm going to give it one last super ram. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. he's gone, go. he's gone, go. he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Oh. Oh. Come on! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Hold on! Yes. It's upside down! It's gonna correct what itself. What the hell is happening over. to it? Why is it levitating with one? Just keep ramming it. That can you give me an why at least I want to be there when it Ooh. gets some water. Ooh. I want to see it. Yeah, it's in the water! Yes! Yes! Look, my way was the best one all the time. <laughs> you should have just listened to me oh from the beginning. Oh my god. It's oh, amazing. <laughs> but it's upside down right now. It's gonna correct itself when it actually reaches the water, <laughs> I think. Well, it hasn't. Come on. Oh, that's doing something. Oh. Come on. It's Come flipping on, it boss. over. Oh. Come on. I can, yes. just, I can just imagine Pavel inside, he's like, whoa, 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 <laughs> No, it, we just need to put it in the yeah. yeah. We got it in, baby! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, no, it's not going to work. We did it! Okay, now I've just got to just gotta get in and hope the game doesn't... Now we just got to blow it up. Block. We did it! Yes! As you might expect, the Alamo Sea, as deep as it might seem, only just manages to be deep enough to allow the Kasatka to dive fully. A lot of the time you are banging on rocks, but the Kasatka is fully usable in this lake. Which means the original goal of transporting the Kasatka here, for the sake of it being an inland cruise missile dispenser, is valid. Now with the Kasatka here, we can launch missiles around most of the north of the map, very quickly and efficiently. Was it worth it? <laughs> no. But as a proof of concept, if the north of the map was the main focus of PvP, rather than the city of Los Santos, I mean, which sometimes it is, sometimes we go PvP there, I've done it a few times, and we needed a platform to launch countless missiles around without having to coast around the exterior of the map, this would be a great setup. The only downside is you would have to have a team of 10 people spending upwards of an hour transporting it into the lake. But like all of these weird challenges that you see on YouTube, while we didn't get anything practical out of it, we got something else. Something infinitely more priceless than any missile can bring to the table. A little something I like to call friendship. I hope you enjoyed this pointless video. If you did, you know what to do. And I'll see you around, folks.